Hey, what's up out there? Super excited to bring you this video today. Today, this video is all about featuring the custom all aluminum dry hatches from Nate's Custom Boats that will go into this John Boat build. This is a key part of this John Boat build and wanted to take time to do a special video just on the hatches. So today we're doing an unboxing and I'm also gonna talk about these hatches a bit. Nate's Dry Hatches and a lot of other cool products are all on TB Nation's website, which also leads to the giveaway. I'm gonna be giving away a $50 gift card to be used on tbnation.net. All you need to do is subscribe to the channel, leave a like on this video, and leave a comment on this video about your boat or your boat build. So I wanted to pause before starting this video to bring all that to you. Good luck on this giveaway. Links below to everything. TBNation.net and all of Nate's contact information will be in the description box below. All right, I think it's time. Let's get into it. Today is all about our custom hatches. Super excited. Got them in. These are hatches custom made by NCB. That's Nate's Custom Boats. These are some very special lids. A lot of this boat design was designed around these hatches completely. And if you don't know who Nate is, check out Nate Custom Boats on Facebook, Instagram, and YouTube. Especially Instagram, he has some really cool pictures out there that shows you some of what he has to offer. Not only does he do the most common sizes out there in boats, but he also does custom work. So if you have an idea, he'll go ahead and put it together for you. And Nate is a good guy. He's someone who will take his time and sit down and talk to you about your build and get you exactly what you need. All right, so let's get this thing open. So right now I'm just starting with the front hatch and then we'll do the rear hatch for you. Very well protected. All right, oh man, look at this. Aha. So what I got from Nate for this boat are just the lids. Of course, he makes complete boxes for hatches where you can drop everything in. And these are the dry lids. Oh, look at that. That is awesome right there. As you can see, they all, they already come hinged. You've got counter, counter sunk rivets in there. And this is a dry lid. You've got a lip all the way around. So any water gets in, will not go down into whatever it is you have in your hatch. You've got your drain port right there. The drain port is welded on, so this will not leak or give away or break. Very, very sturdy, very strong. All right, so that's one, and the rest is over here. So I should have three lids in this pack right here. One, one big one for the front and two for the middle. This stuff is packaged up nicely, taped up well. Very well protected. And of course you can get these powder coated black. I'm probably gonna end up spray painting these myself. Depending on whether you're gonna carpet these or use Hydro Turf, you let him know and he'll get the spacings right to accommodate that. This is another one, the same size as the one I just took out. Man, this thing is sturdy. And then here's the big main hatch for the front of the boat, a 16 by 16 hatch. The other two are 12 by 16s. And the beauty about these, you just drop them in. This saves a lot of time on a build. Not only is it all put together perfectly, I mean, this thing, there's no creaking, nothing. Hinges are up. All of these lids will be turfed and the turf will bury this hinge. This will save a lot of time on your build. So literally, first time I'm ever doing this, guys. Nate and I talk. What you do is let him know what size you need and he'll make the lid exactly for the size that you need, even if he doesn't have it already in stock. And let's see if I did my job right and get this all framed up to accommodate this. Look at that, look at that, look at that. All right, and here's the second one. I'm gonna drop this in as well. All right, so let's move up to the front of the boat where we've got our big 16 by 16 hatch opening. And there you go. Oh my gosh. Look at that. Look at that. This is awesome. This is absolutely awesome. So from a building standpoint, this saves a lot of time. As you can imagine, if I was to build these hatches similar to what I did on my boat, do wood hatches, I would have to do a lot more work. 
and everything from cutting the wood, sealing the wood, and sealing takes days, gluing, carpeting, the whole nine yards takes a long time and a lot of hours. So this right here, not only speeds up your build, but will last forever. This is all aluminum. So I'll be putting hinges on here, installing latches, I'll probably paint this black. Actually, I know I'll paint this black. Paint inside here black as well. Give it a nice pop when you open it. If you needed to, Nate does it all. You've got the actual drop-in boxes for these hatches. He even does live wall, guys, so check them out. So now for the fourth hatch, and this is the biggest hatch. Man, this thing is wrapped so tight, I can't even find where to cut it open from. All right, looks like I got found a seam. Now I worked closely with Nate to figure out the best hatch for the rear of the boat. This is what we came up with. So I'm very excited to get this open. All right, here are the tubes I mentioned to you. Uh, these are the drain tubes for the dry hatches. All right. All right, here we go. So this is what we came up with for the rear of the boat. This is a three track hatch. They're only supporting tracks around three sides out of four for the hatch lid. So this opens up towards the rear of the boat, just like that. You've got your supports in there, all welded in. Everything is flush. Hopefully you guys can see that, man. This is really good work, nicely done. I can't wait to pop it in there. Let's do that right now. Now this isn't gonna fit perfectly in here right now because I'll need to do some trimming. And I'll show you what I mean. Let me just drop it in here. So it's the lid will face the rear of the boat and it fits in the slot really well. I actually left a little extra gap just for my peace of mind on the sides. So it fits in there. I'll have to trim this according to the slant of the transom. So Nate left me enough extra aluminum so that when I shave it down, to fit along the angle of this transom, it'll be a perfect fit. I'm glad he did that. Originally, I was gonna put two hatches in the rear of this boat, as I mentioned in the day one vid video of this build, but through talking with Nate, decided a better way to go to do one big hatch that opens in the back, and I'm so happy I did it this way because as you can see, when you open this up, you have full access to every single thing back here, and you can drop the biggest battery or the biggest tackle, the biggest whatever back here, just open it up and drop it in. And another plus, I know this will be an all electric boat, but if, the, if he was to go with a gas engine, this is vented like a lot. So you won't have to worry about sparks igniting with gasoline, fumes, and all of that. Fully vented as is. Shout out to NCB Nate's Custom Boats for making these hatch lids. Awesome job. All right, so there you have it, guys. Just wanted to share something that's new to the build, new to the channel, and new out there when it comes to converting John boats to bass boats. If you're doing an all aluminum build, Holla at Nate, give him a call. He's a really good guy. He'll take his time and work through exactly what you need and get it to you. Hope you got something out of this video. I can't wait to get these lids in here. It's gonna be an awesome build. Stay tuned, keep track of the playlist. If you haven't seen the playlist yet, get caught up. Click the link at the top of the screen and see everything up to this point. Don't forget, leave us a like, hit that subscribe button. Stay tuned to see the rest of this build. It's gonna be an awesome, awesome build. It's already shaping up nice. I know right now it looks like a hot mess, but I got a lot going on. As always, stay safe out there. We'll see you on the next video.